let's see what we have here. Mega Bass. This thing can use compacted discs, AM from radio, and cassettes. Uh, CD, radio, cassette recorder. This is the Squoney model CFD S50. Um, from my knowledge, this is what came after the CFD SO5. Um, the SO5 is one of my all-time favorite boomboxes that Sony ever made. Um, it pretty much has everything you need for a boombox, and this seems to be pretty much the SO5, and but it's in a more compacted format, and it can also read MP3 CDs. This was almost seven beans at the thrifts, so we'll open this. I mean, yeah, this one has the gray cord, and it's made in China, so. Definitely, uh, gonna be, who knows. Sony products that were made in China were actually somewhat okay. Sony, I think, had higher quality control standards. Have your part here where the battery's going on the bottom. I don't know when this one was made. Let's see if there's any coating on here or anything on the bottom that actually tells me anything about when it's made, which there is none. On your back, you have your head pony out and your auxiliary in, which are two really nice features. I would have liked more if they put both of the both the auxiliary in and the head ponies on the front. You can put one here and one here. There's plenty of room for it. Yeah, I would understand it might get a bit close to cassette mech, but I don't think here here would. And there's a good bit of space before you get into where the spiakers are. Um, the antenna on this it feels kind of janky kind of has a, I don't know, the tip on it is silver, it's not white like the older ones were, um, I gave this a power up at the thrifts, um, like a week ago or so, I actually found an SO1, which I was going to get, but I had to pass up on it, because it just didn't freaking work, so, this one I found, and I was kind of glad, I guess, still need to get an SO1, but, Oh, I got sidetracked. But when I was at the thrifts, I brought this to the back corner of the store, which is kind of has horrible radio reception. Plugged this in and powered it on, and the thing worked just fine. So this one, uh, yeah, it was a bit scratchy, but um, I have a feeling this is going to work perfectly fine. Uh, both the cassette and CD player in this should work. So I, I didn't test any of those when I was in the store, but we'll find out. The electricity will be applied. And we will turn it on and see if it remembers anything. No, it doesn't. So let's go back to radio. Body Shop team has over 185 years of experience and is able to work on all makes and models. The Lariat team will make sure your vehicle is repaired quickly and correctly. Lariat's Collision Center is located in Ripman. I will say this is a lot louder than the SO5. Um, the SO1 I remember was really freaking quiet. With all your repair needs at one so 465 2742 or visit us online. At I can't remember the FM stations off the top of my head. Hi, in World War II. Be sure to listen to this week's edition of Our American. No get to free, 36 months interest free financing plus.
see what Stutters in. One thing I did notice is when I am tuning and it picks up a station, uh, once it gets to the station, the volume slowly kind of goes up a little bit. Typical Sony, it's getting a lot of stations. At least have good tuners in them. They're my favorite electronic tuners to use. It's getting a lot of really far away stations. Try a compacted disc. Which I have a feeling will work just fine. Nice substantial unit. It's not that... Like, it looks small, but it's not really that small. It took a bit of time, but it did get the... CD setup, it actually displays how much time the CD takes or whatever, which that's a feature of some of these Sonys. Bass boost on this doesn't do that much, but it's still a feature, so I guess that's okay. something I just noticed about this boom box and this just goes to show one of the things I really like about Sony. Look at the cassette image, how the cassette is upside down. That I guess shows you how it's supposed to load because this is a um, it is a top loading mech, I think that's what it's called, where the top part of this is where all of the equipment is to do the playback. There's nothing down here. Up here is where the head is. So um, We'll put this tapey in and see what the frick happens. Actually, first, 
before we do it, let's check to see if everything plays. This is spinning. Everything up here is going. Rewind, fast forward, and stop. Fast forward works. We got a winner.